What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I've got something extremely special that showed up in the mail and uh, I want to share this with the world because if I had this kind of resource back when I got started, I will probably be a little bit further than where I am today. And I'm talking about Dr. Brian Bell's new book, Essentials of Biomedical Engineering Technology and Healthcare Technology Management, the first edition. Hardcover, it's beautiful. I like the illustrations on the outside. It's fantastic. Now, Dr. Brian Bell, PhD. Uh, I didn't know that he was a PhD. Good for you, man. He is a dedicated instructor and he has his own YouTube uh, channel called HTM Workshop. And he's also produced some of the things I've hosted here on the channel, which include like the ECG uh, that you can build yourself. It's actually pretty cool. He's, he's extremely devoted to this career field. And this book is phenomenal. So let's go ahead, let's open it up. I'll switch the cameras around so you can get a look at the layout of this book. It's fantastic. Only an educator would be able to create such a summary of such a complex topic, and then at the same time, make it so easy to understand. So let's do this. All right, so it is a little bit bright, so I gotta shut off some of my lights. And uh, this is the hardcover first edition. It's a beautiful book. Now, I'm not going to read anything to you. Um, well, if anything, let's, let's cover some of the sections. So this is uh, Dr. Brian Bell. Cool dude. If you ever see him, and especially like Florida Biomed Society or any of the larger events walking around, go up and say hi to him, man. He's a cool dude. Kevin Williams, uh, Biomed, Biomed IT specialist, also a contributor on the book. Good for them. What is HTM Workshop? At the Healthcare Technology Management Workshop, we believe healthcare technology and engineering are the future. We aim to provide learners worldwide with educational content and additional hands-on learning activities in engineering and healthcare. So the table of contents, let's just go over some of the areas. Introduction to biomed, we've got professional ethics. How cool that they have that in there. What is healthcare technology management, HTM? Communication healthcare. Biomedical Devices and Regulations. Wow, there's some complex topics. We've got Common Tools and Skills, Troubleshooting Technology, Fundamental Electronics Knowledge, Infusion Pumps, Patient Monitors, Suction Machines, Respiratory, Defibrillators, Hospital Beds, Surgical Tables and Specialty Beds, Medical Optics and Imaging, X-ray CT Scanners, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, Ultrasound, Laboratory Equipment, Electrosurgical Units, Dialysis, Medical Equipment Management Plan. Very huge. Cool that they put that in there. Navigating the world of biomedical equipment technology, video content, HTM workshop kits, very cool. Suggested further reading resources, simplified MEMF template, glossary of terms, and references. And uh, that is a heck of a lot of items to be putting in a book of 200, 220 pages, something like that. So um, as you can tell, it is illustrated. And you can see that there are certain keywords and certain sections that are highlighted. I really dig that they color coded it. it. Makes it very easy to scan through and read. I've already breezed through a lot of them. And check this out. Questions and activities. So after you read a section, they're actually testing your knowledge. No book does that. That's why I'm saying only an educator would have come up with something like this. What is HTM? So here we have the main category, and then you have subsections. Super easy to read. I really wish I would have had this resource before I studied for CBET, because this would have made it so much easier. Safety and regulations, CAT 1, CAT 2, CAT 3, and CAT 4. I really like how he's got these all defined. And class 1 through class 3. These are really important, and some of you guys that are studying for the CHTM, a lot of that content is going to be found in this book as well. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, they got the symbols. Very neat. Those are extremely important that you understand what those symbols mean. Ah, he's got rules of repair. 
Um, obviously, his rules of repair are different than mine, but you always have to have guidelines in order to guide you through your actions. How UPS works, very cool. Oh, very neat. All right, so look at this. He actually has the formulas that break down. So as you know, um, mass and volume are cross calculable in order to, you know, some infusion pumps will do it by mass on a scale and some of them will do it by volume. Um, this, he gives all the formulas so that you can look it up yourself. And he gives a couple examples. Very neat, man. This is extremely thorough. Let's, let's check out defibrillators. Now, I dig the photos. They really help guide the user. Look at that. That's beautiful. Talk about beds, optics, signal and noise ratio. And here, we're actually talking about um, Special res spatial resolution, contrast resolution. Um, he goes into a lot of detail on, on medical imaging. I dig that. Wow. Very cool. Ultrasounds. And I super love the questions and activities at the end that you can just browse through yourself. Here, let's, let me see if I can pull those in so you can read them a little bit better. So research and describe the safety measures to take when working around ultrasound machines. Explain how probe leakage can affect patient safety in ultrasound imaging. What are the safety measures and tests that technicians should perform to ensure a safe operation? Explain the principles of Doppler ultrasound and its applications. Describe the significance of signal and noise ratio. What's the difference between A mode and B mode of scanning? Okay. Wow. And some of these are actually excer excerpts <laughs> taken from his uh, YouTube channel. And he goes into a lot of detail when he talks about stuff. I don't go into that much detail myself. Uh, he produces better, better videos than I do, that's for sure. Oh, I dig this. He has the web addresses. Now, I, the only thing I really wish he would have done is maybe a little QR code so you could scan the QR code and take you to the links. But, um, you know, this is first edition, and I'm sure that he's going to build a couple others because technology is just going so fast. Oh, glossary of terms. Super huge that he concentrated that knowledge here because in many other study guides, a lot of the terms are in the source material, and you got to go through page by page of source material to find your terminology. Pretty cool. Well, guys... That is Essentials of Biomedical Engineering Technology and Healthcare Technology Management, first edition, practical guide for technicians. It is 200 and some pages, a fantastic book. Guys, if you're studying to be certified or if you're Biomed 1 and you look, you want something in your library so you can quickly glance something up if you don't know a certain topic, you want to advance yourself in any way possible, I highly suggest you guys check this book out. Link is going to be in the video description. Help support a fellow clinical engineer and his mission to advance this entire career field. Guys, I love this book. I'm super happy that Brian sent this over to me because uh, now I've got uh, one more thing on my list that I'm going to have to do. This fall, I'm taking the CHTM exam. Obviously, something like this is going to propel me forward and better prepare me for that. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate you. HTM Workshop, you guys are doing some amazing stuff. And all of you guys... Thank you for watching and uh, check out the book, link in the video description.